Mm. So we are bringing Emily back. If you go to our Facebook page, I don't know if it's up there yet, but you're going to be able to see a picture of her, uh, of her if you didn't see it this morning, if you weren't on the cam, and see if this is a woman that you would like to meet. Um, we'll be booking that probably. Uh, we're going to give it a little bit of time. We're just going to try to find the right fit for her. And then we're also going to do the same for Arthur. Kyle, did you reach out to Arthur? Yeah, we're good there. He's, he wants to come back on too? Yeah, in like two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. So Arthur will be next. We're going to give both of these people another uh, another another shot at this. So if you thought that you saw yourself with either of those two, mm -hmm. you can get a hold. You don't have to wait for two weeks for Arthur, ladies. If you saw or heard him this morning and, and you're into him, then you can send us a message now uh, for that booking. He'll be back with us two weeks from today. Emily will be back on Why Am I Still Single next Thursday. Uh, tomorrow we're doing something. This is the second week. For what's in the box, and I, I, you know, I've been playing like, hey, this isn't bothering me, and you can do whatever, and and then I admitted yesterday that I had a dream about what's in the box, mm -hmm. and I really think you're starting Johanna to get into my head a little bit. I am. Yeah, you are. I'm. I think I'm a little worried now. Good. Why? What worried you the most? What What are you? Why are you worried? It's the unknown, and I know you're crazy. <laughs> I, know I know you got a little crazy in you. I got a lot of crazy in me. Hmm. Now, what's in the box <sighs> is a game where we have an empty box, but then we put, play something inside of it. There are two holes on each end where you stick your hands in, and you don't know what's in it until you stick your hands in it. I have to go next week, or uh, tomorrow. <laughs> He trying to he is subconsciously trying to get out of this yes. thing. Yes, he is. I am going tomorrow. Johanna has already shared with Nelson and Kyle what is going to be placed in the box. And it's evil, whatever it is. I know that. You know what I can't figure out how what to how to do, Nelson? Mm. Not I this won't give anything away, but I don't know how to transport it here. I was I thought you were gonna say that. I don't know how to get it here. Like you know? I, yeah. Like, I would say... Mm, like, I, I feel like I'm going to have to hold it while I drive. Or, <laughs> no, like a... Um, I don't know. I'll think... Well, don't say anything that'll give it away, but I'm we got to figure that out. Because then I thought about maybe I should bring it, like, today. Like, I should go home and get it and bring it here. Do you want to... I don't know how else. I, you know what I'll do? If you want to... I just... I, I hate the... Everybody knows I'm what it is, but the listeners. The cam. No. no, I will leave the room, and no. I promise uh, I will no, not no. go back and watch not a this. That is <laughs> not a chance. I promise I will not go back and watch this if even, you tell the listeners what's in it. Even if you were a little sneaky, and the logger? sneak. Yeah, I won't go back and watch or listen to any of it. Okay. He's, no, he, he's okay. That's okay. my word. Okay. What do you mean, okay? No, okay. I don't. I don't okay. trust it. No, it's I would trust him. I trust you. Completely. And you trust the listeners not to say anything to I trust them. I don't okay. like this. For okay. real? Yep. All right. I'm going to leave the room. Tell everybody. Okay. I will. Okay. It's poop. <laughs> I can't even say it seriously. It's so gross. <laughs> uh, okay. You can come back. <laughs> you guys are lying. I know you are. I saw you covering the microphone as I left the room, no. and you started giggling. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I got to go back and watch now. Yeah, go I back and watch. That's yes. That's yes. No, you, you promised you won it. You're lying. I said what it was. No Look, way did Aiden you. Aiden says, actually, oh, man. Are gloves allowed? You See? told everybody to comment on here about no, something that would make me go crazy. No, I didn't. I literally said what it was. Uh, what's in the box tomorrow? We'll do that <laughs> a little after 7.30 tomorrow morning live on the Tracy's Collision Cam. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live on YouTube. I was going to do that to Nelson. <laughs> that's all. Oh that's my foul. Gosh, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, my shirt smells a little bit. Like what? Is it one of the, like musty?
It's the one where you have it in the wash too yes. long. Yes, that just it. happened to me the other day. Oh. Maybe not. Mildew? I don't know. It's not mildew. I when don't it even sat know. in the washer before you dried it? Too long. That's mildew. Yeah, but it doesn't smell like mildew. I guess I don't know what mildew smells like, but you're saying that this is what it smells like. Mm-hmm. Could be a tub of dew. <laughs> or poo. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever feels right. Um, he played you. You can't trust Gary. Gary, I gave you the answer yesterday. What was? I don't remember, Deb. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, so um, tomorrow we're going to have Cam Jurgens. We're going to have a little play, a little conversation we had with him that you're going to be able to uh, check out. And we're, when are we going to talk about, Kyle, you know what you told us about the news about home games? What's up? The That's news tough. about home games that you, can't, you shared with Nelson and myself, football games? That we're giving away tickets? No. no. The other part, when are we going to start talking about that on the air? Oh, we could talk about that. Is that a for real deal, done deal? Yeah. Uh-huh. It is? Yeah, we just got to figure out who's doing what games and mm-hmm. yeah, like that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's not going to be like we talk about it and then we find out later, oh, no, that fell through. We're not actually going to be doing that. I'm gonna, let me just send a quick little sh- and double check. Yeah. Sure. I don't think so because it sounded like everything was good to go. Yeah. We reached out to some full-time management on that one probably. <laughs> Johanna doesn't even know about it Not yet Mm-mm. What don't I know about? You don't know about um, Where we're going to be for game days Actually maybe you're in that Even meeting. that's a little slip no, there I gave it to her on purpose hmm. I'm trying to text okay you probably post it right after the show, Kyle, so it doesn't get lost in the feed. Gary, 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 Gary. How's it going to get short lost hair, in the feed? Short hair, Gary, short hair, Gary, coming soon. I don't know. I don't know how it gets pushed out if there's something that's active on the page right now. We can. We can talk about it. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. What? Nothing. <sighs> I'm, I'm watching Kyle set something up in the back. It's better than hosting something at the exact same time <sighs> Steve would. Okay. Because he makes... schedules something at sure. the same time every day. Yep. Yeah, I got you. Oh, can I, I win? prize before I got here? Hmm? Say that again? Never mind. Okay. Guys, listen for all the new listeners uh, that have just joined the camp. <laughs> you got a prize. I delivered some no. news. It was tough. No prize. No, no. What? We this didn't morning. Get a prize. Oh. I have been diagnosed, pre diagnosed with a giant fatty cyst. What's it called? Fluid-filled cyst, giant cell fatty tumor. cyst, fatty c- fat of the tendon sheath. A fat transfer, fat. No, fat it is a ankle. growth. It is a cell. It is fat. They believe it. What did he keep calling mine? A fat, a fatty, a tumor. fatty cyst, a fatty cyst. He didn't even say. Oh, he didn't say tumor for no, you. No, he said fatty cyst. Mm-hmm. That's he got what a fatty you cyst. Let me see. It, it. could be. It let could be a fatty let cyst. Me, let me see it. No way! I saw what you did to it <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> like it's Play-Doh or something. You're trying to form something out of it. Oh, your fingers. I'll give you good juju. I, I got a good diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Look at it. Oh, man. I would not be wear. I would be wearing jeans and tube socks if my ankle looked yeah, like look that. I saw, the, 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 I saw the look of concern. I did. Well, it I looks saw like the you look. got two ankle bones. I know. Where'd they come from? Yeah, that mean I'd be double jointed like I'm you. I'm genuinely actually concerned with the fact that it came up so fast. Like you just noticed it. I feel like you're a very aware person. Not of my ankle region. Who is? <laughs> Who I, looks at their ankles? I don't know. I feel like I would know. I don't I, know, Deb. I have to go in today for an MRI. I shave my legs. I guess you don't shave, so you probably don't know. Mm. I didn't think about that. I was going to say because I'm very aware of things on my legs. It looks like I shave though. I'm losing hairs. You do. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm losing leg hairs. The tumor's eating up all the hair nutrients. <laughs> I don't know why you're 
<laughs> complaining about that though. I would love that. Oh, it's that. so unattractive. Oh. As a man, the I only wish, pla- I don't my hair fell off. I'm hairier than you are. That's ridiculous. I don't uh, listen. You want leg hair, Nelly? You what? want leg hair? Why? Some guy about shaving. that? I yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, she's just. We I can don't, talk about that off the air. I don't think that um, women want a man with no leg hair. Like the dudes that shave them, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I get it if you're a cyclist, but the guys that are lifting weights and shave their legs because it shows more def- de- definition. Now, I say that, but Kyle looks like he may be a leg shaver, so I don't really know. Are you a leg shaver? No. Okay. I don't wax. offend anybody. He waxes. <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> Laser like hair removal. It should only, like... Dude, I want to wax It should so only be bad. for swimmers. Swimmers, cyclists do it, too. Mm-hmm. It does that even shave any time off. Aerodynamics. It must. No, it doesn't. I there's wanna... no way it could. No, it doesn't. And usually they got those full body suits now for swimmers. Are they still wearing yeah. those? I didn't watch Like enough yeah. to care? Now have you seen those all those girl sprinters just leaving their locks head down and mm-hmm. letting it flow? Mm. You know? Yeah, how's that not like hurting true. your That's what I'm saying. That's true. Look how much faster they could be. <laughs> if they shave their heads. Dumb girls. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're I more mean, about style than they are speed. How I bad think. do you want it? You can look good and be second place, or you can be bald and be first. <sighs> For the world to see. I think second place sounds good. (laughs) Second place sounds good. Uh. Oh, laser hair removal is amazing. amazing. Oh, I've got a benign tumor on my right side below my rib cage, Jeremy says. How big is it, Jeremy? Is it also, are we in the giant cell tumor uh, family? Do you feel closer to me now? Why? Because I have an eye tumor. You do not. Yes, I do. You really it's benign. Have tumor? I guess I didn't know that. I thought it was a watery cyst. Yeah, I went to the doctor yesterday, Jackie. And- I, I can't tell if you're twitching or winking at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys are it's a fluid filled cyst. I was trying to wink at you so you would agree with me because well, he doesn't remember anything and you didn't even play the game right. Well, then I, thought you were, then I didn't want to say anything because when you winked at me, I didn't know if it was a wink or not, so I was worried about it. I you didn't think call I just it? closed one of my eyes sometimes? Well, you didn't wink it all the way. I winked it all the way. No, you did three-quarter wink. No, I didn't. No, you I totally didn't. shut I it. I swear to God, and only your top lid moved. No, well, that's impressive. If that's yeah, it, it scared me. So I was like, "Oh no, maybe it is a tumor." No, it is a fluid-filled cyst. Rhonda says, "I did laser hair removal on my legs and armpits. Oh my god, the greatest thing! I would get the laser done. Well, for where? Oh yeah, it's... I would. Yeah, TGCT is rare. I know we looked it up today, Dorothy. It's rare." But it's also rare for it to be anything other than, than benign. So you're saying you got a double rare. About the size of a golf ball. Let me touch it. If you promise to be gentle with it, I'll let you touch okay. it again. I don't trust you. Why? Can I? Trust me? Yeah. Mm. Why do you want to touch it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to poke and prod, that's why. You want to poke and prod. No. I'm nice. I may have to take time off for that surgery, though, looks like. Nelson, that's a good idea, but I'm still scared. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. I get what you're scared of. You know what I'm scared of? Yes. Yes. yes I wait, wait, are you guys texting each other during the show? Yeah. Secret messages? Yeah. About tomorrow. You're letting him in. Yes. Rubber yeah, glove, man. You're letting him into this. I have to let someone in. I can't do Kyle. Kyle is in the rotation. This man doesn't even want to participate. You put me in the rotation yesterday. In the rotation, remember? You put me in a glove rotation yesterday. We're going to let him do it one time and see how it goes, remember? Tomorrow. Let's, let's just no. see what happens. No. Gary, you're going to have a fresh new cut. You're going to look so good zoomed in on the cam. Your little hands. She's going to cut too much off. I know she is. I know. It's going to be sad. It's okay. <laughs> I'm grieving. I'm like, I'm grieving. Should we do a funeral for your hair? <laughs> no, do a funeral yeah. for his hair. <laughs> I got to know, even though it's none of our business, there's something that happened yesterday when you were working from home. 
that I've been thinking about all day. And it was really a, a sad moment. And I wonder, first of all, oh, we're yeah. going to relive that. We're going to tell you what happened if you missed it. I wonder if there's any fallout, first of all. And then secondly, if not, or even if there was, did you have a follow-up conversation with her? So yesterday, Nelson worked from home. He's having some tummy ache problems. And there was a moment when he had to leave the show because I think he had, was having those issues. And his daughter, Penny, who wants to be a radio star, I mean, she just wants to be a star, I think, in general. And it mm-hmm. looks like she's already on her way. She, we see her just show up in front of the camera from your basement. Yeah. And she puts the earbuds in. Yeah, that's the thing that kills me. She knows to put the earbuds in. I know. And, and like, they would fall out and she's like, these always do this. <laughs> like, she does it all the time. <laughs> And she's looking uh, at the comments. She's, she is commenting on the likes that she's getting. I don't even know how she's seeing the likes. She, I don't know where these because, likes yeah. are. Well, you probably had, like, the Facebook page up. So when people press hearts. Okay. And then once she said yeah. she liked it, then everybody. And she's like, oh, my fans. Yeah, Thanks for all I, the likes. Yeah, she's talking about her fans. <laughs> and so we had this nice little conversation where it was nice and light. And, and then you come back in, and we start talking to her about the song that she had sung. Uh, Mom. Mom and, and dad. dad, mom and dad, mm-hmm. they used to be into each other, now they're not. Mm-hmm. She sang that at a dinner where you and your ex-wife were at the dinner table, and there's some silence in there, so she filled it with that original song. Yes, as she is wont to do, she sings her original song. Which, yeah. mind you, we should have we should have known what was going to happen, because that song is sad in mm-hmm. itself. Yeah. Sure. But it has, like, but it's still kind of funny, you yes. know? yeah. She took it to another level with the next song. <laughs> we asked her if she could finish the lyrics of that song. Well, yeah. And she did. It was a it was a continuation of it, and she went on to say, Dad lives in a house. <laughs> Mom lives, Mom in, an lives in an apartment. And then she dropped a bomb on all of us. <laughs> Nobody was expecting. We thought that it was going to be funny and light. And it turned on us in a heartbeat live on the air yesterday with a seven-year-old. Mind you, she is laughing the whole yeah, she time. Is. Yes. She is saying that. Because this. she knows she's taking artistic license. <laughs> what did she say, Nelson? What was the next line that your daughter said? Well, it was something to the effect of, I never see my mom again, or I don't yeah. see mom anymore. Yes. Yeah. And yes, she does. Every day. She's was in it, mom's car right Wasn't her mom on the way to see her, like, literally on the way to yes, pick her up? to pick her up for while school. While she was saying, I yes. never see my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's what she knew. She knew she was being a little uh, jerk. Does your uh, does your ex-wife listen anymore? No, she used to listen. She doesn't. I don't think so. No, mm-hmm. not at all. So she had no idea that your daughter, had said, your guys' daughter had said that? Mm-mm. You did, she didn't. No. no not, so there was she, no fallout from that. she... If she does, she definitely doesn't bring it up. She doesn't say anything to me. And there's plenty of other things we've talked about on the radio and on the cam that I would think that she would bring up to me in private if, uh, right. if she was listening. Right. And did you talk to, to Penny at all about it? Did you guys have a conversation at it or you just let it go? No, because by the time she got home from school, I didn't want to rehash it. And, and I was working out in the yard and no. Mm-hmm. No. Just let her keep singing the songs. It's like therapy. It's her own it has version to be. of therapy, you know? Yeah, I'm here for it. As long as I don't have to pay for therapy, I'm here for it. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I felt so uncomfortable when she said that yesterday. You sh- <laughs> and I, I would- even I even thought about when we talked about this this morning, <laughs> I was going to pull the clip of it. I'm like, I don't think no, I can hear it No, again. no, 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 no. Like, I don't, I don't think-, think I can hear that poor little girl. But then after she said it, she's like, oh, my God, I'm so funny. Yeah, right? she says she's so funny. Yeah, she thinks she's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know where she gets that from. Right. An overinflated <laughs> sense of self, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, we've told you this, anytime... She has an original song. She needs to bring that to the radio. Oh, yeah. She loves singing her songs on the Gary Show on Gary 98. Gary 98 all the way. I don't know if we can handle more of the depressing ones. Can you ask her to, like, <laughs> make them a little lighter or something? Oh, God, I thought, the, I, I thought she was going to sing, I love you, I love you, I love you in my heart. But then she yeah. sang Silver in my heart the other day. Yeah, like, stab me. Stab. <laughs> Turn it up. Since TV isn't an option for them, join them on the Tracy's Collision Cam. It's live and it's on Facebook. Get out of my head! Can I get out? Like, I haven't talked about... I haven't talked about the nurse to her. I'm hungry. To who? Yeah. To my ex-wife? Oh, it's not, oh you haven't yet. No? no? 
There's almonds in there. So I would think that if she was listening to the show, she would have brought that up, or you know what I mean? Yeah, she's not listening. The only time, the only reason she's listened before because she was a fan of you. Sure. And now she's not. But was she ever really? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> How can you be really? She probably watched for Gary. <laughs> I would not be surprised. No way. I would way. not be surprised. <laughs> no way. I'm not her flavor. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> you're adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> you are fla- you're in a, you're in the same flavor profile. Oh wow. man, that's funny. But I don't even get that one though. Mm, yeah, it's true. You're, yeah. I, I think you said I'm a Jason, a Jason, no. a name. I said you're I a like, Jason. Ooh, a Jason, what's like, that? Who is Jason, <laughs> a Jason. Oh God. Yeah, there's really only two days until Husker football. <laughs> Don't whistle, mom and dad. They used to be into each other. <laughs> it's a bop. I could not it's get it. Oh my God. It's such a good song. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> uh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> god! Oh, what has my life become? It's a mess. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's so. Many but ways. I think it always was. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't think it was. You act like it was so well put together before this. Yeah, yeah. I almost think it's better now in a it's weird way. It's just like a different mess, like a different room. Like yeah. this room is messy. Okay, I'm going to go into a different room, and it's also yeah. messy. But a different, but there's a different, different, different stuff in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's so funny. What's going on in here? Oh. I was wondering what's happening. Oh, man. I bought a new tool yesterday for getting those weeds out. Did you like get them a, out? Did you get fine? They must really be something. I mean, there's some significant weight. Do you have to use like edge, not edgers? Uh, yeah, like a, trimmers, kind of. That's what I went and bought. Yeah, the that's cheap. Trimmer. Do you do plug-in ones? I did not do that. What I had is my. It's kind of cool. My um, weed eater. Mm-hmm. You can buy attachments for it. Oh, that's fancy. Oh yeah. Huh? So instead of having the weed eater head on it, you just. Plug and play, and now it's got a, a, a hedge trimmer head yeah, on it. Yeah, that's fancy. I thought so. I like buying new tools. I don't. I'm not a tool guy. I don't hardly ever use them, but I just like buying them and when I, I, I buy them and use them, and then I've got them. I think every man needs to be one, though. Like, I think I let my wife down in a way because <clears throat> I'm not. Like, the garage is not organized. I don't have a tool wall. I don't have... I wish you I can ask me where a hammer wall. is, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Let me try to go hunt one down. Like, I am not what I should be. Tool wall, that's next level, man. You don't have one either. I, I guarantee Dane wall. has one. Yeah, I Dane feels like a Dane tool has. wall oh guy. Oh, my God. He is a... Uh, he has a toolbox for sure, the tall one. I guarantee it. All these drawers. Well, I've got a yeah. tall toolbox, but I don't have a tool wall. He has a tool wall, a tool table wall with shell. Oh, that's so yeah. hot. I don't think so. <laughs> that's super sexy. Like that's. Let like, me tell you, it really gets me going. Let me tell you that it gets it gets me going. Oh well, you. <laughs> I'm just turned on by a, a garage, man. I'm going to tell you. I don't care. I just don't want him spending a bunch of money on him. That's my thing. No, right. I'm not handy, Cindy. I'm kind of handy, but not really. I can't fix anything, but. Like, how does that work in HVAC? Is a lot of that stuff supplied, or do they have to Do they have to go out and have their own tool sets? And Why are you asking me? Because you're the husband. Know. Here's why I'm asking you, because the wife of a mechanic knows all about their snap-on bill. So is there, like, a truck that you have to worry about I him getting on to get tools? I think that he has a bill. I think that they all have, like, a charge thing or something. I don't uh-huh. know. I don't know. Ask Dane. I have no idea. Sure. I don't pay attention. I do not. Pay attention. All I know is when the kids break something during the day and they cry about it, I go, wait till daddy gets home. And then they all, <laughs> poor Dane, when he gets home, they're just like are holding all their broken stuff. Like, dad, fix this. Hey, Joe, I don't, know the, I don't know the answer to that. She's in her early 30s. I know that. 
We should probably reach out to Emily and say, hey, what are you looking for in a guy? So we can really narrow it down. Who's in the early 30s? Emily, right? Or no? I thought Emily was in her like mid 20s. Oh, I, you know what? I'm thinking of the one we had booked before. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Oh, Slavonia. Wife never knows the time. Snap on Bill. Wife never knows the true snap on Bill. I've heard that before. I don't even know Sylvan. what that means. It's a mechanic thing. Is it? John's got three toolboxes. Is your car the last one to get fixed? That's a mechanic. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Yeah, that's kind of why I was asking that, Don. I wanted to see if, you know, because that's what Johanna's husband does is HVAC. So I didn't know if, if like, in his trade he had, if he was responsible for the bulk of his tools or. I was going to have Kyle model this shirt. It's a that's good his. shirt. That's, that's him, man. That's all him. He it's came up with that shirt. idea. It's a good shirt. This this part just kind of lands on my nip, though. Your nips are low like that, huh? Not, not so wide. Yeah. Let me see how wide. That they're seems they're, they're sagging, then, aren't they? Let me see. No, well, maybe that's. Well, about yours right. aren't wide as wide. As what? Gary. <laughs> I think I'm normal. Nobody you got walleye ears. nipples. You got them. <laughs> 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 That's a hammerhead. Oh, it's kind of like a hammerhead. God damn it. That's good. Well, we're going to talk about Husker tickets here in just a second. And then I think we can talk about it. Should we talk about that? Okay. You know all the details, so I'll put you on. So this is about my own tools, and I have them in a certain spot in the garage with strict orders not to touch. I got tired of having to dig through stuff trying to find a hammer. Every time you take a drink, you need to mention this. That's what Amy said. The sip brought to you by. That is a lot of words. Broken Rail Beverage Company Unsweetened Nitro Cold Brew. I got my one mention, and now it's your turn. I already did. I, um, I mentioned them first. I never heard you ever say that. Not even one time. Johanna's Sip is brought to you by Broken Rail Beverage Company and Sweden Nitro Cold Brew. You're such a professional. You're so good. I'll take one of those Broken Rail Beverage Company sips, too, if you don't mind. <clears throat> Get in there. This is what I request, Broken Rail Beverage Company on Sweden Nitro Cold Brew. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if we had our own tap in here. Oh, my God, yes. That would be nice. Yep. We want Froggy our own. Because now tap. we all three love it. So now it's time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> See if you can make that happen. That's a pretty big request. This is really old and lame, but I have been super into crossword puzzles lately. Oh, it's really old and lame. No, it's not. I like crossword puzzles. I can't do some like the Los, An Los Angeles Times. I can't say that word. The Los Angeles Times is a really hard one for me. How do you have time to do that? Like you always talk to me about how you don't have any time. But somehow he plays video games, his game crossword on his phone, puzzles. and crossword puzzles. It's very confusing. I know, but I just do it when I'm not supposed to be doing it. Hmm. Oh, I don't have to tell you. Oh, he does it on his phone. Yeah, it's cro I got a crossword app. Oh, I have crossword books. I'm is no. Rachel Now that? that's old. Crossword books is old. That's I'm an old lady. I call you Dorothy. That's my grandma's name. Hey, did she just... Rachel, did... I'm an old lady, kind of. Yeah, you are. What about oh, Rachel? What the hell? Does Rachel work at Broken Rail Beverage Company? It's they want their own it. natural on tap. Yeah, Rachel, if you have anything to do with that, let's go. Rachel, let's, let's do it. <clears throat> Who's the barista of the show? I think it's me. Do you want that title? I don't have a problem with that title. Like if we had a cold brew in here, you'd be the one? Oh, you mean orders. who's going to fetch your cold brew? That's the barista. Barista. <laughs> I just thought of of us, which one of us is most most like a barista? No, that's not the question. It's which one of is going to fetch them. That's oh, well, the question. No, I don't want that. I don't fetch want that Fetch them. Fetch what? The barista. What are you? What are you saying? The cold brews. Who's going to be the cold brew person? 
I don't know what you mean. He th- like, he's I'm saying taking I'm orders. The, what did he do to, this morning for you? Joe would you like a cold? He, he baristaed you. He kind of so gets he went, my barista, right? Yeah, but not mine. I know. That's good. Just take it. Yes. I have to, I guess. You're mine, not his. I don't like any of it. Why? I just don't. Why? Because now you call me a barista, and before I thought it was like nice because I've made uh, like fancy coffees before on my own, but now it just means because I fetch. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was because you make fancy coffees on your own, too. Well, that's why I claimed the title of barista. Yeah, you claim both. You but in this claim. scenario, we can't make fancy coffees. We can, I suppose. We have you a fancy double- coffee maker I get right it, there. but right now we're all about the nitro from yeah. Broken Rail Beverage Company. Mm-hmm. So that barista, man. Right if now, they after all of this, all of this plugging, if they pull that thing out, I'm gonna be upset. I know you will. <laughs> Saturday, the Huskers are taking on Illinois. That is a noon kickoff. We're your home of the Huskers. We'll have the game starting at eight o'clock in the morning. Pre-game coverage mm. goes a step further than that. We got a Husker on our team. You say they're all on our team? Yeah, they are. But one of them is on our team. We had him in the studio. Cam Jurgens, we went after him. And then he told us, we jumped the gun a little bit with Cam. We wanted him. We went after him. He mm-hmm. tweeted at us. We were trying to get him. I think we prematurely went on the air and said we got him without really, really having him. He went down to a practice. He's getting his ankles taped. Trainer said, I heard you on the Froggy 98 team. Mm-hmm. Like, shh. Trainer's down there listening to us. I love it. And he's like, yeah, I suppose I am. It's <laughs> <laughs> not how he talks. No, it's not. <laughs> he's from Beatrice, so I don't know why Beatrice uh, in my head, that's what that's what he sound like. But that's I not. could hear him saying suppose. He kept saying hogs, did he not? We're we just a bunch of hogs. You said that well, like, several times. Aren't they like hog farmers, though? I thought they, I thought no, he did something. A hog is an online. Talking that's an about... offensive line yeah. reference. Okay. Well, you were a hog. He came in a farm, a he came in a farm <laughs> truck. You were a hog. He was in seventh or eighth hog? grade. You wanted to be on the D-line, but you were one of the wild hogs. I didn't know that I wanted to be on the D-line. I just knew I hated being on the O-line. Yeah, right. Did you ever tackle anyone? No. He was on the O-line. He was oh, a hog. I don't know yeah. what any of these words I mean. had to block people. Oh, off- offense. Yeah, he was on offense. So you blocked. Yeah. But yeah. isn't that like tackling? No, it's dumb and boring. Blocking. Oh, I forgot that little video we had of him, Cam, when he was uh, he was critiquing your stance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I had we to told... see his butt crack when you did that. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Not Cam's, Nelson's, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, to clarify, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Nelson's. But then we, I'm sorry, we embarrassed you in front of him because we said you quit playing in eighth grade mm-hmm. because you want to play D-line and the other thing, and you had to tell him that you don't want to take a shower. <laughs> I didn't want to shower in front of other people. <laughs> you had to say no, that. You think I'm afraid of you? You say that like I'm afraid to say it. Like I don't tell anybody who'll listen. I'll say this, though. When you were saying that to him, when you you were baiting him to say that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And the, he didn't go there first. He goes, well, the first reason, the real reason, is because... And then you said something else, like, football-y. And yeah. then I gave him what he wanted. And then you gave him... But I, you, I have never heard you say that first reason. You have only said it was because you didn't want to shower with other boys and have them see mm-hmm. see what your mama gave you. And then Cam says, you'll get over that real He crap. said, we can... Yeah, he's like, we can work on that or something. <laughs> no, we sure like, we football cannot. players are so used to being naked in front mm-hmm. of other men. Yep. I could see him just, if Joe Hanna weren't in here... In him here, just stripping down just right say, there. Just hey, let's just get this over with right now. No, I'm not like a chance. I'm like one of the boys. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. That's how football players are. Uh, Unless you're in eighth grade or ninth grade, I think what they do is still... This is... Oh. I didn't make it to ninth grade. So I, I know, but this is what they're doing now. So embarrassing. Is these kids, like a freshman, going on right now, they're taking showers with their underwear on. Now that seems no. like I could have stayed at football to ninth grade. Oh, my God. Take I could have made off. it to ninth grade. A Take lot. it off. <laughs> what are you doing? I could have made look, it to ninth You look grade. worse with the underwear on, it all dripping like, wet. It no. seems weird. Like, the concept of it, yeah, that's weird. But I don't know if it's weirder that you're sitting there saying, take it off. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> Take it off, you I'm little just boys. Saying. Take it off. But imagine that moment where they're finally, they're like, I think I can take it off today. I'm free. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably I not think their freshman I can year. Take it off today. 
<laughs> you just slowly take it off, look it oh around, God. making sure nobody's looking. You never want to be the first guy to take it off, though, do you? The uh, I guess the trend yeah, setter. Yeah, you do. Then you're like the cool one that doesn't care, no, I just think, right? Like you don't care. Just walk around. That's what you do. You walk around, you blow your nose, you know, whatever. Like the just old guys at the gym? <laughs> yeah, the same thing. Man, old guys at the gym do not care. You want to talk about some no. locker room mentality, those oh. boys will just walk around. I'll never forget that time I went down there. I was at the gym, and I was uh, I would bring like a a replacement meal or, you know, some powder and stuff, and I would, I would put it all together on the bench, right? I had to lay all it out on the bench, and I would start mixing it together. And then I realized all these naked men, are sitting down on the bench. Yes. And oh, I'd, Gary. Where you say all your stuff Ugh. at. Yes. Yes, it was you know disgusting. What? Nobody's coming in there wiping that down. No. Uh, no. 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 Well, anyway, Cam uh, is oh, Cam God. is helping us <laughs> give away tickets. There, he is a part of the Froggy 98 team. You're going to hear him all the time on the radio station talking about how much he loves us the morning show, and he loves the radio station. And um, he's going to have, beginning Monday, Cam's keyword. It's going to be called Cam's keyword contest for you to win tickets to see him for every home game. So beginning Monday, you'll hear him. He'll have a keyword of the day. You'll want to enter that at froggy981.com, and that'll get you in to win tickets to see a football game at Memorial Stadium. Every day will be a different keyword. Obviously, the more times you enter, the better uh, chances to win. And we also, we just found this out this morning, Kyle. Uh, we are going to be this year... Uh, for home games, we're going to be tailgating where? We are going to be at uh, Buzzard Billy's and Brewski's. <sighs> Love myself some armadillo eggs. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so for every home game, we'll be out there a few hours before kickoff, and we'd love to see you, you know, if you're down in the Haymarket. Two hours before kickoff, we're going to have koozies, concert tickets, music. It's yeah. going to be a ton of fun. I can't That's wait to be awesome. down there. Yep, all kinds of stuff. That'll That's be fun. first one next uh, next Saturday, first home game, isn't it? Yep, next Saturday. Again, so starting Monday, Cam's Keyword Contest for a chance to win tickets. We'll be talking to Cam. We'll replay a conversation that we had with him tomorrow morning. Nelson is desperately trying to go viral, and you can help. Watch the Tracy's Collision Cam on YouTube. Just search Frog Mornings. <laughs> it doesn't. Love a good koozie, too. I can't tell you the last time I even used a koozie. Do, do they really? You're such a man. Why you say you that? You just like let your hands be cold. You're so crazy. Oh, okay. So you have a koozie more for your hands. Than to keep the beverage cold. Yes. If you yeah, I'm for cold keeping the beverage cold. She's for not having I'm the hands just, cold. I don't want to be cold. I just don't want my hot hand on the cold can and then heating up the beer inside. No, that is not me at all. I just don't want to hold a cold. There's nothing worse than standing around holding something cold. Mm. Even when it's warm outside. You, I don't care if my beverage is warm or cold. That's gross. I do not care. I literally do not care. And oh. You have no idea how much I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just bought a koozie the other day at the baseball game that I was out at, and I, like, really had to decide whether or not I wanted the, you know, because at the baseball games, they sell big cans. Oh, yeah, yeah. So did I want to get the big can koozie I, for cans I'm never going to hold on to? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm never going to have another. The only place I would ever use it at is this ballpark. Mm -hmm. Or do I get the regular size koozie? I went with the regular size koozie. What are you laughing at, Gary? Nicole says my son is a freshman in high school, and he refuses to shower at school. Good on him. <laughs> I, they can't do this anymore, but they would make a shower in seventh grade after PE. They and the part they can't I, make you do is the PE teacher would watch you to make sure you were oh, showering. Oh. So imagine a woman <laughs> standing in the shower watching, make sure you're showering. That's that yeah. horrendous. That's, yeah, that's a little nuts. That's a little crazy. Yeah. Ooh, Deb got plantar warts on her feet from showering at school. Oh, can you do that? I mean, they transfer they like that. Get planner, uh, planner work transfers like that. I didn't know that. I believe so, yeah. John says, Johanna Burris, you are not old. You are so beautiful, and everyone else here knows that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. John's way too nice to me. Is it already 8.50? It's already 8.50. Crazy. It's already 8.50. Already. <clears throat> yeah, he probably did get matching koozies with the with the nurse. Oh, does the nurse watch? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, is she a fan? Would you say top fan? 
I don't know if she's a top fan, but she's a fan. The nurse used to listen years ago when she lived in Lincoln. Really? Mm -hmm. Were you on here? Yeah. Hmm. What'd she think of you then? Uh, the only thing she remembered from that era was that I was uh, I had gout. She remembers the song? She remembers the gout in the song, yeah. yeah how is that to be a no guy known for gout, having gout? <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> it hasn't stopped her from going well, to baseball What would you rather be known for gout or butt worms? Because I'm a butt worms. Mm -hmm. The gout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but her butt worms were when she was a kid, man. But still, it's worms coming out of your butt. Yeah, but, like, that's an accident that happened to you. Gout is something I caused to happen to myself. A big, fat, fatty disease or I know. just some pinworms in your butt. Okay, if you really no, were... pinworms is a dirty disease, though. It's a dirty kid. Right, Johanna? Yeah, I was a dirty farm kid. It's because I chewed my nails. I told you this. Thank you, Isaac. I'm really getting... I'm really getting the love today. Mm. I'm wear hat every day. <clears throat> you guys got to talk some meeting these. Chris, I'm talking to Rachel about your coffee tap. I'm guessing she'll reach out. Oh. But then you got to get on board with that. Get on board with what? I thought Gary meant does what? He wash what? I don't know what that means. Something about watching me shower. <laughs> uh, he already took a sip of that hot sauce, John. He's not going to drink anymore. I'm going to take it home, though. It's really good. I like that kind a lot. No. It's not hot. Why, mm -mm. why are you saying Louisiana down the hot sauce? Like it's, like it's hot. It's not hot. Mmm. That's some sass. Don't worry, the sass will be gone. He'll just be boring old Gary with short hair after today. <laughs> I got time people saying what's up with their hair. I know. It's a, you know what you it's a mixed bag of what people think about it. AJ, we got it from there are broken. There's a lot of people that hate it, I will say. <laughs> well, I can't tell. I can't tell if they hate it, but a lot of people were asking you, like, what's up with the hair? I don't think so either. And Steve, didn't Steve ask you too? And then, um, see, that's what's, that's uh, that's where my agent is nice because uh, I waste a lot of money on him. But then they don't come to me with those comments. Like when they don't like my beard, they just tell my Wouldn't agent. Would you they rather don't like they just beard. tell you though? No, I like it now that I've seen them coming to him directly and I and coming to me indirectly. I'll take it indirectly. That is so weird. I would want it the opposite. I think that would because then it's like there's like tension. I'm not tense. Okay. <laughs> Worms are super common. LOL. My kid got them and she never leaves the house. See? AJ, I don't know where you can get the Broken Rail Beverage Company unsweetened nitro cold brew. It's so good, From though. the Broken Rail Beverage Company. <clears throat> where is it? Yeah, so. but can you buy, like, individual stuff? You know what I mean? Or so is it looking like... right now on their good website. Point. Good question there. Our products... You know what? That's like a smart comment a guy with longer hair would say. You Me? Know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to text my wife and ask her. Just look, cut it. Do I look younger with the short hair? <laughs> She's really pleased. Cut her hair. That's like when people tell Dana's mustache looks good, and I'm like, okay. Let's no, be, it does let's not. Be <laughs> I think his mustache looks great. Uh, that's a guy telling another guy. But most of the time, I just don't care. Good time, good time. Oh, I think I got a bite. As we say goodbye today, we had a hot and a cold this morning for Why Am I Still Single? If you miss it, you can go back and watch it. Emily and Arthur. Emily said cold. Arthur said hot. Johanna said she sniffed it out. Cold I did. Coming. We didn't. Nobody else was sniffing it. <laughs> Matter of fact, the cam said, what was it, 95? 90%. Uh, 90% said hot, but there was 10% on there that also was sniffing the cold, huh? Ooh. They both are going to be back on the show. They've already agreed to it. We're going to start with Emily, since she was the one that was not satisfied with this morning's pairing. 
Uh, she will be on next Thursday. Kyle, is there a picture? Did we post one of her yet? Yeah, it's up there. What's the feedback yet already? Is it pretty pretty good? It's not too shabby. Yeah, I bet. Got some options. So if you want to see what... How old is Emily? You guys know? She, she's 25. 25. If you want to see what Emily looks like and uh, you want to meet her, then you need to go and see what she looks like. And please, there's going to be a lot of guys that comment on her picture. We would prefer you not to do that and just message us. Because we don't want her to see, we don't want her to see what any of these dudes look like, really. Yeah. So if you're interested in her letters, let us know. And then at the same time, Arthur, um, if you want to meet him, we'll get to him after Emily. But you can message us at any time on that, too, and we'll we'll start setting that up. Tomorrow morning, what's in the box? I can't wait. We're going to find out. Johanna's got to bring something in and stick it in a box. Uh, the joke is going to be on me. I'll have to leave the studio she will tell you what's in the box. We'll have a camera inside the box. Everybody will know except for me. I have to stick my hands in it, touch it, feel it, <laughs> describe it. I was, uh, I'm, like, so excited but so scared. I'm and excited then, for the levels. You know what I think? This I think, that's a, I think this whole thing's a setup. I think that what's going to happen is that you're, you're going about this trying to scare me, okay. and it's going to be like an apple inside of it. I really do. Maybe. I think you're playing mind games with me. Maybe. Like when you te so, texted it to him, you said in it, say that it's foul. And then you explain what yeah. it was. And he's like, oh, my God, it's foul. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go with that. So that means you're going to go in full force with your hands and just I'm probably going to go in fast, quick, and then pull them out quick. And then, yeah, no, and no, then, you gotta and touch then and gather feel. myself. I don't know how I'm going to react. I had to squeeze. Oh, you I did squeeze not warms. squeeze. You touch it. Oh my god, it's cool. No, you said get Wet. in there and grab it. You said get in there and grab it. So I went in and I did a little. You oh. did a little. Did, did she do a grab job on the nightcrawlers? I night did crawlers? a little grab job. It was very the tips of my fingers, but I grabbed. We'll oh. see how good you are tomorrow morning. How creative you are. You're so proud of yourself. You said. Because I'm known just, for being such a great actor, too. All the time he gives me all of this grief about my acting abilities. I, I'm not you think the, I'm overacting when I tell you it's foul? Because it's foul. You think I'm the only one that gives you grief? Johanna also says you're overactor. Don't yeah. you, Johanna? Yeah, he's dramatic. He's overactor. So tell me, am I overacting? Or is it foul? This is a pretty good acting job, I think. I don't know. I... I just cannot believe I thought of this. Like, so many stars aligned. So good. So that it's so good. Can, um, the idea has levels. The actual thing itself has levels. It's levels on levels. No way. We'll find out tomorrow morning yes. what's in the box. Have a great rest of the day. We have a ton of music coming your way here in just a minute. It'll kick off with some Jake Owen next. Faces for radio, voices for newspaper. Gary and Nelson. Just before we cut out, I just wanted to back up what that Carissa was saying since AJ was asking about the Broken Rail Beverage Company, Nitro yes. Cold Brew. Yeah. You can get them at the Haymarket Farmer's Market every Saturday from 8 until noon. Oh, Carissa. You can get them at the Farmer's Market at College View, or apparently the cans of it are available in U-Stops and hy Chris, Carissa says we're getting more you coffee. You see that? You're getting more coffee today. I saw. Johanna Burrish, Gary Greenwood. Sorry, I got a big job. What? Love you guys. What are you talking about? This is from Carissa. This is the Carissa that was tagged in it, was it not? Love. Yeah, so. No, Chris has been tagging. Oh, Chris has been tagging. I I'm sorry. She's been uh, tagging. Kyle, what's that? Carissa's cousin, I believe, are the owners of. Oh, is that right? Yes. We're jamming hard on your broken. Hey, right? also, can you do this, uh, Carissa? Can you tell them to get us? Do they have any cups or anything that we can they, drink out of? They have some cups. Yeah, to show mm -hmm. to help advertise it. We would do that for you. Yeah. As long as we get an exclusive. Exclusivity? Yes, exclusivity. To what? To we the Frog Studio. Tap. So we, we don't have to walk tap. all the we're way out there and be shamed oh, geez, for drinking all this so damn coffee. We are on a cold brew campaign, Kyle. You will get to benefit from it. You are allowed in our studio. Yeah. Everybody in this building should benefit from it. No, they can benefit from the one out there. We're at, we want extra benefit. Can I? Can you tell me this? Are the other radio stations giving them love like we're giving them? No way, are they? I have no idea. I don't listen to any.